Coming to you from the great state of Wisconsin, this is a CS27 Studios production. You're listening to the Binary Brothers Podcast featuring Ryan and Clay. It's time now to open your ears and prepare your mind because life's too short to be constrained in black and white. So without further ado, here are your hosts, Ryan and Clay. Hello, welcome to the Binary Brothers Podcast. This is our fourth episode, and with me, as always, is Ryan. Hey, everybody. I'm Ryan. That you are. This, as I said, is the fourth episode, the uh, the New Hope version, yeah. I believe. I, I believe that would be an accurate statement to make at this point. Which many would argue would be the best of the franchise. I would I would have to agree with that. I, th- I think a lot of people say that, and I, I wouldn't argue with those people. Regardless of our personal opinions, <laughs> it seems to be a very common theme. And it fits well because this episode is the best of 2017, the best of this year. The very, very best. Only the best for all of our fantastic listeners who are the best. I mean, I can't really disagree with you. I don't have any any statistics, any facts to say otherwise. We have listeners, right? I mean, people oh, yeah. listen. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I've checked the data. We've got the data to prove that we have people. Let's just assume that they are the best. I don't, think, I don't think we really list- have to assume anything. I think just the logical conclusion. It follows. Is that, that our listeners are the best. That they're the best. Yeah, I think that's that's a fair assumption. It's been established. Mark it. Yep. So if so. you are just joining us for the first time, congratulations. Welcome. Woo! We like to start off every show uh, just trying to get you into our minds, see where we're at. But this one's going to be a little bit different just because it is the best of 2017. The very best. So we're going to be talking about the best things that have happened this year. And so those two segments usually that we do talk about kind of the music that we're into and and just things that we're, we're interested, things that are upcoming or, or things that we're looking forward to. Um, and so we're going to still do those topics, but it's going to be the best. Right. So, I mean, I mean, what, how, what do we want to... What do we want to start with? I mean, let's just start with let's just start with the music. Yeah, I think that that's a good spot. So I I think one of a good spot to start it would be best album, I guess. If we want to sure. go there, let's do that. So you, you started off. For me, the best album of the year, personally, would be. And if you're a seasoned listener here, you might know where I'm going. But it's going to be "Damn" by Kendrick Lamar. Damn. Damn. Yeah, it's it's going to be that. For me, that was just a fantastic rap album. It was a really good album in general. I mean, if you're not into rap, you're probably not going to choose that as your album. But I think it was flat out to have, you know, number one, have Kendrick Lamar, you know, back with another album. He continuously puts out fantastic music, in my opinion. His style is great. And this album, you know, he made it a whole a whole story, a world that had a really great feel. We talked about last episode that the collector's edition came out and, and it, it played was, backwards. And it was the track list backwards. You know, it plays really well front to back and back to front. You know, he's just got a lot of great moments on there, a lot of great tracks. I'm Kendrick a, Lamar. I'm, a, I'm a big fan of of albums like that. Albums that are a little more than just songs you know right albums that maybe tell a little bit of a story or, or there's a cohesion between or among all the all the different tracks right and i mean i i like an album especially that you know you you get some artists that put out albums and you have three or four singles on them that they've really pushed out and that that's the big push is the singles and you don't really have a lot of a lot of substance or a lot of quality stuff in between and this album isn't like that. Their singles have been picked from it, but the album as a whole is just fantastic. 
Yeah, I mean, I've seen, I, I keep seeing that album just pop up everywhere in terms of listings of the best albums of 2017. So that that really is not a surprise for me. Yeah. And and I've listened to it and I I can't I can't say I can hold on to listening to an entire rap album in yeah. one sitting just because it's not necessarily my choice of, you know, music genre. Right. But there's a couple songs on there that come on and and you listen to it and yeah, it 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 gets you going a little bit. It's like you you dig you dig into it and dive a little bit and and it it, it just kind of it, it's good. It, there's some really good stuff. Right. I mean, it's got like you said, it's got like a really solid energy to it at times. Yeah, like like I mean, the first time I listened to it, I, I wasn't I wasn't really you know all that kind of into it. I was just kind of like, what's what's the big deal about this thing? You know. Right, you want to see what what's the what's the haps? What's everyone talking about? Yeah, and <laughs> and first I was like, eh, I guess it's it's great, and then and then I listened to it again and, and just kind of started actually hearing more of the song and everything, and and actually kind of keying in on the the not only the music but the lyrics as well, and and I was like, holy crap, these people are right. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's some these people know what they're talking about. There's a some bit. good. There's some quality stuff in here. And I mean that's some that's something to be said. I mean, you mentioned yourself that you're not a huge fan of the rap genre. It wouldn't be your first choice of music. And I, there's something to be said for the fact that you saw something in that album. Yeah, it's it's not it's not a genre I can I can just sit down and listen to. It's like I mean I I enjoy there's there's great songs in every genre. Oh and, yeah, and rap is definitely no exception. But it, the problem, I, I think, the problem is with with genres that I'm not, you know, genres that aren't my favorite. Is that the only ones you really hear or that I really hear are ones that just come up on the radio, and and you and I both know that's not where the good stuff is. Right, radio play is not always the the best place to look in the first place. And on top of that, especially with rap, is you get you get the radio edits of things and yeah. that, that can just, in my opinion, ruin a song. Oh yeah, for sure. That, and that happens for every, every genre that happens for the stuff I'm into and, and everything. It's, it's annoying. Right. I mean, so you're right between, between the selection and the edits the radio, we've talked about this. We've mentioned this. We don't yeah. radio will never be on our best of list. No, no. If we ever do a worst of list, radio, it might, it might show up there. You're you're most definitely on it, <laughs> for me at least. <laughs> yeah, for you know, for me, I mean, damn was was one that I you know it has to it has to be up there and 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 I can see why it is and and I, I would definitely. I would definitely pick it. I mean, so many, so many other people are picking it. I mean, you're picking oh, it. Yeah. Other people are picking it, right? Um, but it, if I if I would do this correctly in my mind, I would pick something that, a uh, pick an album that I that was best for me, I guess. Right. In 2017, I think that's probably what you did too. Yeah, I mean, it's like I said, it's something that I I have kept coming back to since it's come out. And it's just something, not because of, you know, any popularity or anyone says it's the best. It's just an album that I found myself enjoying a lot this year. So, right. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you've got, you've got another album that's like that. Oh, yeah. Right? And, and I'm going to say this to, to all of our listeners is, is just because, you know, we say this is the best album or, or other, you know, listings or anybody else say this is the best album. It doesn't mean it's the best album for you either there's there's so much music out there and so many people everyone has their own kind of personal taste and that's i i think that's why you and i both ryan we kind of shy away from radio just because they always play the exact same stuff right it's like the same stuff on a loop and then i mean at least at least with you know picking and choosing your own stuff or you get that variety or even going with you know some sort of curated 
playlist on whatever music streaming subscription you have, you know, someone goes out of their way to pick out those songs and it's normally a bigger variety and you'll get some of that, you know, newer stuff that you probably haven't heard along with some of the stuff that you'll hear on the radio, but it's, yeah. Yeah. Now, for me, 2017 was a bit of a letdown in terms of the music I'm usually into. I thought 2016 had a couple of really, really great albums. And 2017, there was maybe a couple that I looked forward to. And I don't think any of them really lived up to expectations of mine okay what were you what what were you like kind of looking forward to for this year so i mean last year and i and this is this was me kind of like looking back on this year i'm trying to figure out what albums came out and and thinking about these albums that came out recently that i really liked um just to realize that they came out in 2016 i mean you got Red Hot Chili Peppers, you had Green Day, you had Metallica. I mean, you had some really, and those were really, really good albums <laughs> in my mind. Like, I can listen to all of those, like, front to back. Right. And you can listen to them, like, multiple times probably too, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I have. <laughs> but, <laughs> and I think, and actually this actually stemmed from, me trying to figure out what the best song was for 2017 and, and that's when i figured out i was like this song came out in 2017 didn't it no it was on a 2016 <laughs> album gosh darn right. it <laughs> but um yeah so i there were a couple albums i was looking forward to this this year one being uh queens of the stone age which was known for kind of a, a while that was coming out in 2017 and then and then the foo fires kind of dropped an album like almost out of the blue yeah, I, I really didn't expect them to release an album and like I I kind of saw them on like Instagram, social media a little bit, kind of doing stuff, but I didn't I didn't know they were coming out with an album for sure. You should probably answer that door, Ryan. Oh, the doorbell. I think someone's might be someone important. It might be someone important. I'll be right back. I'm back. Hey, don't worry. I'll cut that part out. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> <laughs> the powers of editing. Uh, post. It's fantastic. <laughs> we'll cut it in post. We'll cut it in post. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, like you were saying, Foo Fighters. I did not at all expect them to come out with an album. Yeah. I mean, they just dropped, they just dropped a single or dropped a song. And then they were kind of like, yeah, we don't know when the album's coming out, maybe like 2018. And then <laughs> like two months after that, they were like, yeah, it's uh, it's coming out <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, here's the deal with the album is, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, that I mean, there's some good songs on it, but it's just, I don't know. Ever since, ever since uh, Wasting Light, I've been kind of disappointed with with Foo Fighters offerings. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I listened to Concrete and Gold, I think was the name, right? Yep. And I listened to it, and it it didn't really... It, didn't it was really... it was good, but it didn't really, like, right. get me... Like, the there are some good songs. Foo Fighters albums have. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It just... Ah, it just didn't live up to my expectation. Unfortunate. Yeah. Um, but then the other one was, yeah, Queens of the Stone Age, and that was a bit different album. Yeah. It was it was a more kind of dancey, groovy type album. But I would have to say that was probably my the best album for me in 2017. Like, Queens I could listen to that one front to back. Okay. It, it was, it had some good songs on it, uh, definitely groovy, like I said, and I think I, I honestly it wasn't it wasn't as good as their previous album, which is probably why it didn't live up to my expectations. Yeah, like like their previous album, like Clockwork. If you haven't listened to that album, do it. It is. I don't think I have. I, I listened to their new one. Great. Sure. Like Clockwork is probably my favorite album of theirs. 
solid. Yeah, I mean, I, I, we've talked about artists that are kind of similar to them before, and I've, I like their music. I, I definitely want to go back and listen to their last album. Yeah, I, yeah. So, so I was a little disappointed in that, but that album did spur my favorite song of 2017. The best song of 2017. Ooh, being into it. the way you used to do. Like, you just can't help but dance to that song. I know, right? That song is, it's one of those songs that, like, got played a lot. And I just, you I just never got tired of didn't it. Didn't get tired of it. You know? And that's that's hard to do. And it, it's just, like, one of those, up like, it's an up-tempo song. It's, like, like you said, it's a little bit groovy. And it's just... I don't know. Like it's kind of irresistible. It's one of those songs that kind of gets stuck in your head. Right now, I'm hearing the song in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so I have no yeah. regrets about that. I'm um, I'm not mad about it. But yeah, I mean that's a fantastic song. Um, I went kind of close to home on this one because again. I picked something from Kendrick. Okay. Um, I really, I really liked his album again, and um, it was kind of a toss-up for me a little bit. I was thinking about it uh, between two songs. Uh, one's for sure a single. The other one, I'm not sure is a single, but um, it was between Humble and DNA, and I went with DNA for my best song of 2017. That's a song. And I don't, it's just like, it's really aggressive. It's pretty gritty. And I like, I can listen to that song over and over again. I just love it. Like I love the production on it. His flow is just fantastic. It's just, it's an all around like fantastic rap song for me. And I think I read something at some point where um, it was either him or the producer, I think it was the producer of the song, said that he kind of wanted it to feel like Kendrick was, like, fighting the track, and I yeah. I got, like, I felt that aggression and, like, that energy, and then the music video for, oh no, that was, I think it was, I think there was a music video for DNA, so I, I think that's the one I'm remembering right now, also a fantastic music video, so between those two songs, I picked DNA, loved it. DNA is a good choice. That was probably the first song I, I heard. I listened to off that album. I was like, okay, everybody's talking, you know, good things about this album. I'm just gonna pick DNA here, one of the sing singles. And at first I was like, eh. And then the second time I listened to it, I was like, exactly what you said. This is this is some hard stuff here. <laughs> like yeah. he's fighting it. Like it's actually got a good. Once you kind of listen to the lyrics and everything, it's like, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean it's it's just like really in your face, and then at some point, you know, the beat breaks down and changes, and like it, the beat gets like super aggressive, yeah. where it actually feels like he is trying to just yell over what is happening in the background, yeah. and that that struck me from the first time I listened to it. I I I can't go against you, really. I that's <laughs> it's a good choice. Good choice, sir. Yeah, yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> what other stuff? What what are what do we what else do we want to talk about for best of things? Best of you know I think we got I think we gotta go into the topic that both of us uh, have been affected by probably recently. Oh, I Just the I other day. Oh yeah. I think uh, I think we gotta go into best movies of 2017. I think that's a good stick move. with the entertainment here a little bit. Yeah. So what uh best movies? I mean, you were alluding to the fact that both of us the other day went to go see Star Wars: The Last yeah. Jedi. We tried to we tried to go together, but just uh, it didn't really work out. Logistics. That's okay had, though. It's all right. We had a lot of a lot of moving parts going yeah. on, so but we did both get to see it. The same morning, actually. Yeah. So, and I thought if we could just take a second, I thought it was. A it can good take more movie. than a second, you know. I mean, yeah, it, it took me more than a second to just even start that sentence, but 
I thought it was I thought it was a good movie. Um, I, it's not it's not my number one. I don't think it would be really anyone's. But I, I'm interested to hear like what what did you think of it? You know what I uh, I was entertained. I enjoyed it. It was it you know Star Wars. I know a lot of people have been critical of it. Yeah. But I just I don't know. I, I I don't see what the big fuss is with it. Um and I I mean I'm a guy who's who loves Star Wars and and <laughs> grew up with it and, and everything. Right. You know, and and I understand kind of where they're coming from, but at the same time I was like, come on. Like <laughs> it's not that bad. Yeah, I I've just I was surprised by the amount of actual like we talked about, the the hype was you know super real about it, and oh yeah, and I mean I was hyped for it. The early reviews seemed pretty good. And I didn't even I didn't even look at reviews. I I couldn't. I dude, I you know how <laughs> how hard was it for you to just avoid spoilers for you know the week or two it was out? It was it was tough. I'm not gonna lie. I had to dig deep. You know, a lot <sighs> of mental mental strength. It takes a lot of resolve. Yeah, yeah it's just like. Every time, like I'm scrolling through feeds, yeah, like, like news stories and stuff. Yep, pretty much. I, nope, like I, nope, nope, nope. Yeah, I like basically stayed off of Twitter. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, no, no more Twitter for me until I see it. And then every time I saw like an article, the second I saw Star Wars or The Last Jedi, nope. Yep, it's pretty how pretty much how it was. But yeah, I, I, that's I heard kind of like mixed reviews from people, and then some people are being kind of critical of it, like you said, but. I thought I was definitely, like you said, I was entertained. I thought it was a good movie. Um, I think it was a lot of bridge. You know, I, I feel like it was a lot of... Yeah, setting connecting. setting stuff up for right. episode nine. For sure. And, I, and I'm, not, I'm not mad about that because, you know, that it gives you some... It gives you more background. It gives you more setup. It gives you a reason to be, you know, really into whatever the finale is going to be. Yep. So, but what? I liked okay, it. so so what, what? We spent a lot of time talking about <laughs> a movie that's not your number one. It's not my. So number I'm curious one. to know what your number one is and how much we're going to talk about that. <laughs> All right. So my number one movie of the year. It came out really early this year. It came out in February. Okay. And it it was um, Get Out. Get Out. Oh, is that the is that the Kevin Hart one? No, no wait. it's the one. What, um, the, what was the Kevin Hart one? Oh, Kevin. Kevin Hart had Jumanji recently. Uh, nah. I don't know what other movies. I can't. He's been I can't in. deal with a remake of of the original. I saw it. It's not a re. Well, it's. It's, it's not Jumanji. A How is it not a remake? It's Jumanji. Welcome to the Jungle. It's it's was literally it Guns set... and Roses featured in it. <laughs> not at all, actually. <laughs> which oh, which they're gonna get you, sued. Now that you mentioned that, <laughs> why not? Right? But just it, have a cameo in there? Just, Come on. just a tiny bit. Come on. It's Get right there. Axel Rose just kind of ankle dancing in, in the background there. It's low hanging fruit. You gotta you gotta go for that sometimes. You gotta. But, but it so it was it was like a sequel slash continuation thing. It was weird. like it picked up twenty some years later or whatever, and they they did stuff to, you know, make it different to kind of adapt it to be like newer, it was a different story. They had some callbacks to the original movie, so it it wasn't like a remake. I guess I would kind of call it maybe a reboot, okay, of it. But it wasn't a remake. It I actually I really enjoyed it just because I I laughed, I laughed a lot. Like I laughed a lot more than I thought I would, and that's kind of the reaction that I got from a lot of other people. Yeah, is that. They didn't expect it to be as funny as it was at times. I mean, it probably helps that Kevin Hart was in it. He's a funny dude. He's hilarious. And then you get him together with The Rock. Like, they're real life yeah. best friends. And the two of them acting together is just always good. But I can enough that. with other movies. Yeah. Get let's, get, let's get back to your number one. Get the out. best. The best movie of the year was definitely for me Get Out. It came out in February. It was directed by Jordan Peele. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's. That's what I was thinking of. Right. And he, so if anyone doesn't know, Jordan Peele was 
half of the comedy duo Key and Peel, and they had no a show, and right, they had the show, and it was a sketch comedy show, and that I loved that show, and I actually was like watching through it on like Hulu or something, and ran up realized that it was the last season of it and didn't even know that it, it had stopped airing but jordan peele is like a comedy guy and yeah. he's hilarious and out of nowhere i'm starting to hear these rumors in 2016 he's doing this this horror kind of you know mystery yeah, right. thriller movie and i'm like, I'm like what? what is this what is this gonna be like what's gonna happen here well and then and, and then him and Ke- or him and uh, yeah, Key and Peel. Sorry, <laughs> I'm confusing the two now. Dude, I do that all the time. Key and then both of those guys were in. Uh, they had a cameo or a part in uh, one of the Fargo episodes. Oh, really? Yeah, I like I and I haven't I haven't watched a whole lot of the Fargo series. I just kind of saw it. Saw one episode with, at a friend's house. He had it yeah. on, and all of a sudden Key and Peel like shows up. I'm like, what? What, what is what this? Is this? <laughs> so, I mean, that kind of maybe was the beginning of the snowball rolling down the hill for that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it... A little teaser. So, I mean, just from that fact that it was an R-rated mystery, thriller, horror movie thing directed and written by Jordan Peele, I was just like, I, I want to see this. You gotta you know? see it no matter how it turns out i want to see this and i just it was amazing i i love the movie it's just like a fantastic story and you know it's you know it features uh as the leads like this biracial couple and you know all in all the trailers and stuff it's all like oh come meet the parents and blah 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 and then stuff seems weird you know and it was just a great movie like i i was kept, you know, guessing throughout, and, you know, I just liked the cast in general, even though it wasn't, like, people I was really familiar with. It was just really well done, and I, like, I got sucked into it very quickly and enjoyed the whole thing, and I I even, like, uh, I don't normally buy movies a lot. I'll sure. stream them. I mean, it, it's tough to really think about doing that nowadays. Right. And so, like, I'll stream them when they come to, like, streaming service the theater when, you know, if I'm super excited about it or if it's part of, like, movie club stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, Get Out was one that I saw in theaters, and it was just fantastic. And I I went out and bought it. Like, that's how much I liked it is I wanted to be able to be able to watch it whenever because, you know, it might go on to some streaming service and leave it is a 99 percent on rotten tomatoes it's like the Ooh. highest one of the highest rotten tomato scores yeah so uh, it's it's a fantastic movie i would highly recommend it to anyone who enjoys that kind of movie but it was great what about you what was your what film this year really took home the prize for you you know well i'll tell you what it wasn't get out <laughs> Considering I didn't even know what it was, or didn't remember what it was, but I, I mean I'm not really a big horror kind of thriller guy anyhow. So, like, um, like when a lot of people were interested or looking forward to seeing, you know, it. I yeah. Like, mm, no. No thanks. I'm good. Meh. Yeah. Don't really like horror or thriller. Don't really like clowns. None of it really <laughs> speaks to me. It's not really a thing that Clay could enjoy, no, right? No, not really. <laughs> I'd rather not. Um, but I mean, we've talked about this before, and, and I'm not really, I'm not really much of a person who watches a whole lot of movies. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've I've seen I've seen the classics, and and honestly, I mean, those are those are the type of movies. Those are really the only movies I actually have on DVD or Blu-ray. Are if I'm gonna buy a movie, it's not gonna be more than ten bucks, <laughs> right? It, so that means it's gonna probably be, you know, pretty old. It's been released a while ago, <laughs> right? And the only way I'm going to a theater is probably nowadays if it's if it's Star Wars. Yeah, I mean it. Everything it, else is streaming services, pretty much for me. 
Yeah. So with that said, I've really only seen three movies that came out this year. Okay. One being Wonder Woman. Fantastic. Another being Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Another good choice. And then the Star Wars film. Those were my right. three. And so you're you're picking out of those three. I essentially am picking out of those three. Although I've heard a lot of good things about like Logan came out this year. Logan was pretty good. That's another one I bought. Um I heard a lot of good things about the the Blade Runner remake. Meh. I haven't seen it. I just heard good things about it. So if have it, you seen if it sucks you... then then you know like whatever. Have you seen the original? I have seen parts of it. I haven't seen the entirety of it. I I think a, a lot of people that I talked to even liked the original, thought that the second one was a little bit drawn out. Okay. Um, but I thought it's visually pleasing. Yeah. Yeah, it's it and it's filmed really well. Like I, I sure. really I enjoyed it. But yeah. Okay. Well. Out of the three that I saw, Wonder Woman uh, kind of let me down. Really? Yeah. I, that is, that I did there. not expect those words to come out of your mouth. And I, and I saw it, I mean, I saw it long after it came out in theaters. Yeah. So I knew the hype around it. And maybe it's a movie I went into with too high of expectations. That, that could be. That yeah. might be the reason why it let me down. Because it was a good movie. But I was disappointed because it just, it just, mm, the, the, the fight scenes just didn't, it wasn't enough. It just didn't. I, didn't I needed her to just, action wise? I needed her to be more powerful. I needed really? the battles. I needed the, they needed to be more epic and they weren't. I can see that. I mean, we've been we've been. That's what trained. I wanted out of that film. <laughs> I mean, that's, we've been kind of trained to expect that, though, right? I mean, she fought a before. god, Ryan. <laughs> and it just wasn't. And it that battle did not live up to the expectation. It wasn't. I enough. had. I mean, that's. I, I don't know. I I really enjoyed the movie. And other guess, other than that, I enjoyed the movie. I guess had I gone into it with like super super high expectations, I I might have been let down. But I I think I was. I I didn't go in with pretty much any expectations, having because it was a DC film. If we're being honest, yeah, because yeah. they haven't been hot recently. No, and it's unfortunate because my favorite superhero is is Batman. So right, but the rest of the, like the rest of the DC universe, I'm like eh. eh. Right. It's not really that great. Speaking of so, universes, Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Okay, and what I'll have think? to. I'm gonna admit this right now, is so I just watched that probably last week. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't that come out like way earlier this year? Yes, and that's not even the worst part. The worst part is I saw the first one a week before that. <laughs> So you're you're just I'm so I was so far behind on it. it. Those were movies I wanted to see. I just never saw it. And then Volume Two was on Netflix. It came out on Netflix. I'm like, all right, I'm watching this, but I can't I can't watch it without seeing the first one. I gotta see the first one. So that was that. And yeah. one of the things I really love about those films was I mean, not only are there you know it's pretty it's pretty funny at times. You know, there's some good lines, good humor within I it. heard I heard something about like they they like cracked a, an insane amount of jokes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It it almost ruins the flow of the movie sometimes. I because you, you get that. to it, it's like the scene is building up and then all of a sudden someone like cracks a joke and it's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> but <laughs> but they're funny lines. They're it's funny. But oh, yeah. the thing I really loved about those films was just the the soundtrack because Star Lord, the main character, is he's he comes from like the eighties on Earth and so he has this like Walkman with a bunch of like right. classic rock or classic music. And that's kinda like 
that's kind of my almost my favorite genre is just that classic yeah. stuff so i was oh, yeah. i mean i'm just dancing on my couch <laughs> during those scenes. like i i really enjoyed that about about uh about those movies yeah the fantastic soundtracks i i remember going into guardians of the galaxy volume two i i was just thinking to myself can't wait for this soundtrack because i know it's going to be fantastic i mean even the trailer i mean yeah i mean that that first scene even in yep. volume two just the music for that it's just action-packed fantastic song. yeah just when they have the opening credits or whatever and yeah and you got baby group dancing <laughs> That was I really like that was a great scene. That was a great creative way to open up a movie. Oh yeah. I thought that was beautifully done. So is that is that your number 1? Ryan, that is not my number 1. It is not your no. number 1. It may not have been your number 1, but Star Wars was my number 1 this year. Oh, okay. Okay. You said it would be nobody's number 1. I'm telling you you were wrong. Well, I it mean, is somebody's. It is mine. Well, of the year, not not anyone's. Well, of the what year, do you mean of the year, not anyone's? No, no. Of the year, it could be someone's number one, guaranteed. I meant like in the context of the whole series of all eight episodes. Oh. Plus, I guess we're counting it Rogue One. That was just saying it's not going to be anyone's number one. No. There. I thought but you were saying of the year. Number one of the year very well could be, okay. and it is indeed. You know, what? I feel like you're changing your answer, though. No, 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 no. I, I'm not going to say I was wrong and misinterpreted you. I'm, I'm going to say you're changing the answer. We can play it back unless you <laughs> edit it out and post. Hey, I'm the one that edits, edits this, so the the episode can you're going to be on the losing side to... of this argument. I'm going to listen to one of these recorded <laughs> one time, and it's just going to be you, and you're going to have replaced me with some soundboard. <laughs> I've just. This whole time, I've just edited you out there. <laughs> I've been telling my yet. friends to listen. It's been everything. Who is, who is he talking to? Is he just talking to himself this entire time? I did that one time, honestly, because I I got um, some TV station came to do like a special on the Raiders, and they you know recorded us you know pregame and did some. Uh, did some interviews and stuff, and I got interviewed, and I told someone, hey, check out the news at this time. I was not in it. <laughs> they, <laughs> they had not used anything. I was in there for, like, two seconds as, like, just part of the game with, that they had recorded. But, like, <laughs> I, I I told someone, I was like, hey, watch this. And then the person after it was done was all like texting me and they're all like, um, <laughs> you weren't in it. <laughs> oh, huh. That's sad. Ah, it's all right. Worst things have happened. So it's your number one. It is my number one. You talked about you liked it. After, yeah. after everyone complained about it, I thought it had some really, really good scenes in it. Was Some it the real post? quality, just filmmaking. You, I mean, you gotta love Star Wars movies. And it had some really good lines, some good jokes, cutting back to the other, the original trilogy, or just good lines in general, that right. just reference the original trilogy in, like, the perfect spots. And... I mean, I mean they have just... Ports. I thought it, I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was the best movie I saw this year. I mean, you saw three pretty good movies for your three movies of this year. Not that you limit yourself to three movies a year, but for the three that you did see, mm -hmm. you saw pretty good movies. Star Wars is a damn good movie. I thought I I thought the entire thing it's set up the last movie of this trilogy well i thought what? it closed out some storylines very well despite what some people may say did you say the last movie of the trilogy i said it sets up the last 
Oh, it sets probably. it up. Yeah. Oh, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. And I, and come on, I didn't. I honestly didn't even have to watch the movie. The opening credits with the music. That's oh. all I really need. That puts <laughs> it as the best movie in my book every single time. <laughs> So the credits, the credits roll, those opening credits, the music starts, I'm excited. Yep. And when they end, I immediately thought to myself, Clay is now leaving the yep. theater. <laughs> that's all I need. And that's enough for me <laughs> to put it over the top as the best movie of 2017. I'm sorry. Did you have the, the Star Wars opening credits? Then your movie was not the best. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to listen to your argument. You're wrong. Your opinion is wrong. <laughs> All right. So we've done album. We've done song. We did movie. I say we keep it. We keep it in entertainment. Okay. And we go with a TV show. TV show. Yeah. And, Another you know, thing I'm, I don't really watch a lot of. <laughs> I'm honestly right. So I'm honestly not... So when it comes to like over the air television, it shows that I, I just like I never Yeah, don't even don't even ask me about that. Like I I you'll never catch me tuning in at some time to watch yeah. a thing. Setting I'll, aside I'll... a time every week or every day. Yeah. I just I just can't do that. I will binge watch a show. Oh yeah. Like there's no tomorrow. I will I will watch it the next day when it gets on Hulu or whatever if it's on there, but if it's if it's not on, it's it's just not on. But I think there's a lot of, I think with streaming services, we've been opened up to a lot more, um, a lot more opportunity, for you know, especially when it comes to original content, of watching TV shows that are you know new, and kind of at your convenience. So hey, hey, yeah, and that's really the only way. <laughs> that's the only way I watch stuff nowadays. Right. So. I was thinking about it, and um, I don't know. I, I kind of end up watching a lot of older shows. Or like, I find a show that is already like seven seasons deep. Oh, and yeah. I just start, like, watching through it. So The amount of times I, don't... I watch It's Always Sunny or The Office or whatever. Oh, I'm, I'm, like, in season, halfway through season five of The Office right now. Futurama. Right. I think I'm just finishing up season three of The Office of – my my most recent run through, <laughs> right. So yeah, it's it's not really a thing. I and I was struggling to think of you know what I watch a lot of Netflix originals, but I was trying to yeah. think of you know what new one I watched this year, and I I couldn't really think of one that stood out all that much to me. But um, a show that I actually did watch and I really enjoyed, I watched it with some friends, um, was The Handmaid's Tale. The Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. So that is a show that I actually just recently found out uh, was based off of a book. And it's a Hulu original or whatever they call theirs. And so so they took this book and did a, fil a film adaptation of it or a TV show adaptation of it. It was a really good show. Like, I... We get together with some friends and we'll watch like movies and shows and stuff and we decided we were going to start watching this show and I was just like hooked almost immediately on the show and just fantastic it, it's kind of about this um, dystopian kind of future I guess I'm assuming where you know the world is is a bit different and there's you know some sort of potential like civil war kind of going on sure and you know, there's these women that are handmaids, and they're they're. I don't want to ruin anything, but so there's women, and it kind of focuses on this one. Woman. She's the main character, and you know what she's going through and everything that's happening, and it was just like a really good story. It's just like every single episode that we watched, and was like, what is going to happen? What's going to be next? You know, how's everything going to turn out? So. That would be my best show, and I'm pretty sure it it, it came out this year. So, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> pretty, I'm pretty sure it came out this year. Uh, it just seems like, like you were saying about songs when you were thinking, and you're 
you were saying, oh, no, that song came out in 2016. Yeah. I have, I'm, like, having the opposite problem where I'm thinking of things and I'm like, ah, oh, there's no way that it came out this year. <laughs> and, and sure enough, it did. But I mean, it's it's a long year. Yeah. It's definitely been a long year. But also fast at the same time. It's funny how that works. Yeah. But Handmaid's Tale, that's that's my choice. People should watch it. What what did you do you do you have a pick for best? <laughs> do I have film? a pick? He asks. Do you have? I mean, you've got to you got to have one. I, I mean, that's actually a pretty quality question because <laughs> <laughs> because of our earlier conversation. Yeah, uh, you know me too well. It's like I share all my secrets. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, you know, I I I think. For the shows that came out this year, uh, I think the only I I think I only saw two. Okay. I think I, I think it was Game of Thrones and Stranger Things were really the only two. Oh yeah, Game of Thrones was a thing this year. <laughs> it, oh. it happened. Um, and then another one I was interested in was uh, like the newest season was out this year it was better call Saul but I didn't watch it because it wasn't streamed so, Did you watch... I, so like I've seen the first season? two seasons because those are okay. on Netflix but and I really like that I really liked Breaking Bad so if you're a fan of Breaking Bad you're gonna like better call Saul I really want to watch I think I got I think I got like three or four episodes into it and I enjoyed it and I I've been meaning to come back to it and finish. Are you talking about Better Call, Better Saul? Call Saul? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Was, I, I loved Breaking Bad. Yeah. I, that's a show that I've watched a few times. Yeah, over. that's probably one of my favorite shows. Probably, probably my favorite drama show. That's for sure. Of all, like of all time. I I'm not gonna argue with you there, at all. Fantastic. Like game, game of Thrones is good. Yes, I mean it has drama in it. Yeah, but it's. It, I think it just it's more of a commitment. I think. Yeah. Like the episodes are just more of a commitment. Yeah, I I, I could agree with you there. I mean, it's it's like you have to, you have to be. You kind of have to be in that mindset, too. Right. You have to be in that mindset, and you kind of have to be on top, you know, where you are and what's going on. Yeah, and the amount That's of true. the amount of characters' names I completely forget and then have to keep on reminding myself, who are they? Oh, yeah. Who's are his they, face with Who are with the, the Targaryens again? Who are the... Right? Which family... Who are the Starks? Did that? Who, are... who owns this island? I'm who not sure. Who the heck is Tyrion Lannister? What is I'm, what is a Lannister? I mean, I'm I'm exaggerating a little bit, but there's so right. many. There's <laughs> just so many. I mean, those books are just riddled with a bunch of different characters. Yeah, I haven't read them. I'm just I, that's what, just why I hear. Right, I have them. Oh, I do got you? Them on, I got them on like digitally on oh. some sale sometime, but I didn't. You probably, I have yet to crack them. You probably saved about a thousand trees doing that. Yeah, I'm I'm a big fan of. I'm a big fan of digital books. Because, and yes, those books are huge. But so you Game of Thrones, you I said was pretty good. I don't know. I don't know what my favorite show of <laughs> I just don't Game of Thrones. I mean, it had some good episodes, but it, it was I mean, it was short. It was only like 6 or 7 episodes this this season. Yeah, they were short. Were they were longer episodes though? Bit, they, right? Yeah, they were, but, but still, I, I don't know. I just it ended so quickly, right? Yeah, like, it just it just felt like I mean, and I mean, it didn't really help that they were basically fast traveling every episode, right? Where the rest of the rest of the series, they were just like spending a couple episodes traveling. It's like, oh, they're here now. Oh, okay, cool, oh, cool. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, this this has happened. <laughs> they have found planes. <laughs> Dragons. Jeez. Dragons yeah. are the planes. Everyone's flying dragons nowadays. It's a cool th thing to do. There's only three, but... They're I mean, just... probably racking up 
that Monopoly money. <laughs> right. But, um, so, yeah, Stranger Things was good. I enjoyed that. Um, I, you know, I, I wouldn't say it was better than Game of Thrones, though. Yeah. I mean, this is all just my personal opinion. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. And then, oh, the only, I guess I did see another show. Uh, and you know what, honestly, this is gonna be, this is gonna be my number one best show of 2017. Got it. And I might get some flack for this, but I don't care. Here comes the flack. The flack is coming. And that would be season three of Rick and Morty. Yo, I was going to pick that one. It was between that and Handmaid's Tale. And, and I think the reason I'm picking it is because there was such a long wait between season two and season three. People just wanted it to happen. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, out of nowhere, April Fool's Day, AdultSwim.com just has the first episode of season three on loop all day. Right. I was like, this is perfect. Nobody's going to believe anybody if they say. <laughs> if they say Rick and Morty season three. It's, it's on. Do you Streaming. know the first right. episode? It's on. <laughs> no way, man. What are you talking about? You can't fool yeah. me. I get it. It was perfect. Absolutely perfect. And it was a great episode, too. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I'm. I, you know what? I'm picking that. I'm picking it. I'm down, I'm down for that. I love I love Rick and Morty. I, there had been... I had heard a lot of hype about it. And then um, I decided to just finally pick up and watch it because it was yeah. on some streaming service. I decided to pick up and watch it, and I could just not put it down. Yeah. I had to, I had to keep watching it. Catherine thoroughly <laughs> enjoyed it too. It's great. Uh, it's just, it's great. Pickle Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Love Pickle Rick and Jaguar. Just Pickle so. Jaguar. <laughs> that was great. Now, in that that first episode had uh, Nathan Fillion in it too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Big fan of him. Ah, they really. I just want. I wish Firefly would come back. I have never seen Firefly. Oh man, there's only one season of it. Yeah, but it's I've like it's like a sci-fi western. I've been told that it's very good. And it, have you ever seen the movie Serenity? No. Oh, okay. I have not seen so, Serenity either. so Firefly lasted. It was on for one season before it was canceled for God knows what reason. And then it just had such a good following that they ended up making a movie from it called Serenity. Yeah. So, yeah, it's too, you know, it's really too bad. They probably can't really ever bring that show back. It just probably wouldn't work, wouldn't. Yeah. Especially with how much older the cast is, probably. Yeah, it just wouldn't make sense. Hey, yeah. suddenly. <laughs> but I really, I really, pretty much any character that Nathan Fillion does, I enjoy. Yeah. So, to have him in that first episode of Rick and Morty was, was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. So yeah, that's uh, it's my best of 2017. I think, and honestly, I think that concludes our entertainment section. Yeah, I I think that that'll do it. And unfortunately, we don't have much time left to do anything else. Yeah, I we mean... have about I want to say we have about six minutes, maybe five okay. minutes, probably. Maybe. I mean... So. Do we have another another one we could maybe squeeze in? Yeah. And you know what? It's just going to be an open-ended, your favorite thing out of everything. It could be entertainment. It could be just personal stuff. It could be whatever. Favorite thing that happened this year. The best thing to round off this show of bestness. All right. I'd say the best, best thing that happened uh, this year for me, I'm going to go with the house. I'm going to go with finally finding a house. I mean, we, we kind of started looking in this year. I think it was like really early in the year, but I think that's been the best thing for me personally this year. I mean, going through the adventure, you know, finding a house, 
with my wife that both of us like that, you know, has potential, but like fits everything we need right now. And just all that. And even with all the stuff that you end up coming across with owning a house and I've come across a few things already. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That'll happen. Right. I, I still say the house, getting into the house, the whole, you know, process, you know, going through it all with my wife. I think that's just fantastic for us to have our first home. It's just, just been great. And just, it's awesome. You know, I had a, I had a feeling, I had a feeling you'd say that. Right. And I, and I don't blame you because it's, it's pretty darn cool. Oh, it's, that's great. What, what about you? What to, to be a responsible are... homeowner? <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to be. Hey, that's, that's all any of us are really doing. We're all just trying. <laughs> all we can do me um you know this year i put a lot of i think i put a lot of pressure on this year um in terms of this year being the first full year or really the only full year i guess of me being 27 years old and in my life nice. 27 is kind of a big number it just means a lot a huge deal for you it's huge and and so i i was kind of like you know what i this year has gotta i i gotta make something out of it and and maybe not only just that but i just believed something good was happening yeah and unfortunately i started off the year being unemployed not a great start. not a great start but came to the realization that this was a new start something new, something that would bring me the next chapter of my life and start off something great. And I got a new job. I had to move down here for it. So I certainly miss the people I had befriended up where I was living for a while. Oh, oh for sure. But coming down to this area where it gives me a whole lot more opportunities in my field, there's just, even if this job didn't work out for whatever reason, yeah, there are there so many other else. opportunities for me. Yeah. And there's just so many more opportunities in pretty much all aspects of my life around, around here, more than there was up where I was living. Oh, sure. Not only that, but it also led me to kind of release some side stuff, some side projects, and I'm continuing to do that stuff and also start this podcast with you. Starting the podcast was a fantastic move. So this year, I think looking back on it is exactly what I needed and wanted it to be. It maybe yeah. didn't bring anything big or nothing, you know, substantial happened. But it's the beginning of a lot of things I'm looking forward to. And that's awesome. I mean, because especially like you said, starting off the year the way you started, it's great to get this big push and get this thing. And like you said, maybe it's not a lot of like huge things happening, but I think for your 27th year, I think that's, I think it's a pretty solid one. Oh, yeah. So that was, I guess I don't know what, that, I guess that doesn't, cons that's not really like the best thing to have. It's just kind of like the year in general, I thought. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I guess, I guess the, the, the catalyst, I guess, would be getting the job. I mean, that, that helps out things. Oh, sure. I mean, cause that, that ends up putting you, yeah. Ends up putting you down here and open more stuff, like you said, and puts you closer to your pal down here. Oh yeah! The, oh the, yeah! The Binary Brothers podcast, oh, right? Yeah. Well, so, that's awesome, man. Very exciting stuff. Can't wait for 2018. 2018, it's coming soon, and I think we're gonna we're gonna kill it. We're gonna make it oh, yeah. good. make it even better than 2017 was. Oh yeah, this may have been the best show of 2017, but it's it gonna be least... nothing 
nothing compared to what we got in store for 2018. 2018, episode five. It's going to be great. It's going to be even better. Oh, yeah. And if you're just a new listener or you've been with us the entire time, thank you for sticking with us in 2017. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. For listening to us, I guess, in 2017. Yeah, we appreciate it so much. Just anyone who's listening to this consistently, inconsistently, whenever, just it's awesome that someone's enjoying this. Yep. Because I'm definitely enjoying it. Oh, yeah. It's been a lot of fun, for sure. And we definitely we definitely hope you stick with us for the new year. Oh, yeah. So we'll, we'll be back. I mean, we'll see you guys in 2018. Oh, yeah. Make sure, make sure you let us know what your favorite things were in 2017. The best moments for you. Let us know. Social media, wherever. Yeah, hit us up. Comment We're sections on, on places. Yeah, anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere the you want internet. Your just, you know what? Just yell it, you know? Yell it. Out we'll in the bring, world. We'll... Just go outside, open your door, just yell it. We'll, we'll feel it. Yeah, we'll hear it. Don't worry about the noise complaints. Yeah, Don't worry the, about your neighbors. Nah. Yeah. Just go out and make it happen. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Binary Brothers Podcast. We can't wait for you to tune in next time. But until then, make sure to find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, SoundCloud, and BinaryBrothersPodcast.com.